Hi everyone, I'm Michael Cunningham with Queens TV Profiles. I'm here with Professor David Lyon in Macquarie at the Surveillance Center. Uh, how are you doing today? Pretty good, thank you, Ron. Okay. Good. Uh, so just to start off, um, we're a little bit curious as to kind of where um, your interest in surveillance came from um, because it seems to be kind of an, uh, an exploding paradigm over the last 10 to 20 years. And I know you've been in research and academics for longer, so... Um, well, it, it really grew out of an interest in new information and communication technologies. I was doing some work back in the 1980s about uh, so-called information revolution and whether or not we were entering something you might call an information society. And out of that, I got really interested in the question of what, of what would happen to personal data, what would happen to information about ourselves in that kind of a world. Uh, and it really became a focus, what was just a chapter in a book originally, turned into something that, uh, mm. that Will is still with me now. Mm, that's really interesting. So I, I, I understand that the Surveillance Center at Queen's is something that you were a part of at the very beginning. And so could you tell us a little bit about how um, that kind of developed and, and became kind of a big center like yeah. it is today? Sure. We actually call it the Surveillance Studies Center. We're not practicing surveillance, mm -hmm. although I get lots of <laughs> ads in my uh, email offering me surveillance equipment, just because of what I do. Um, so yeah, Surveillance Studies Center. Well, our first meeting, I guess, was um, ooh, 1992, 1993 maybe, and uh, so it's a, a while back, mm -hmm. and we, in we invited a bunch of people from uh, mainly North America, but uh, one or two from Britain as well, to come and share in a research workshop. And things really took off then. We began to do research together. It was always collaborative research. Um, and uh, things grew. We had several quite large grants for the social sciences, mm -hmm. um, several hundred thousand, and then up to uh, two million, and the one that we have currently is 2.5 million, so they're, they're quite big grants. Mm -hmm. I mean, you expect that sort of thing in uh, engineering or uh, some of the natural yeah. sciences, but to get it in the social sciences is pretty big. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so all this research, as I understand it, has um, led to you being uh, awarded two different awards. Uh, I have in 2007, you won the Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Sociological Association. And in 2008, you were elected Fellow of the Royal Society of Canada. So I was just wondering if you could kind of tell us about that experience and uh, kind of what it means to you. Oh, obviously, it's, it's wonderful to be uh, recognized. Very humbling, um, especially when you remember what I said earlier, that uh, the research that we do and that I'm engaged with is, is so collaborative mm -hmm. and work with other people. It's a team. Mm -hmm. We have uh, people who collaborate here at Queen's, at other universities in Canada, and at uh, other universities around the world, plus graduate students. I mean, I learn so much from my mm -hmm. PhD and MA students. Um, so, you know, I get the award, and I have to say, well, I accept this on behalf of the mm -hmm. team, because really, I couldn't dream up all this stuff by myself. Mm -hmm. I couldn't achieve all this by myself. So, yeah, it's very gratifying and very exciting, too, to see that people are seeing the significance of work done in the social sciences that actually touches the, the real world mm -hmm. in you know, concrete ways. It Obviously, one hopes that the work that one does makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to be recognized is, uh, is, is exciting. And um, I, I'm pretty sure, too, that the teams of people that I work with are pleased for the team when they see that I get some award. Yeah. It, to my mind, it seems a bit unfair that I get an award for something when mm -hmm. I was really working with other people on, mm -hmm. a, on a project. But sadly, we don't really give team awards in yeah. this field. It's, um, rather individualistic. Hmm. Well, I'd just like to say congratulations and thank you for giving us the opportunity to interview today. My pleasure.